Hi everyone, this is all about strawberries in the glass house in the Netherlands. If you like this video, please subscribe, leave a comment, like, and click the bell and share. Look at these amazing strawberries I ever seen only here in Netherlands. As we go further, we can see a lot of people walking and looking these strawberries. This is how the strawberries grow in the glass house with proper light and clean environment and so on. Strawberries are available almost the whole year in the Netherlands. They are famous for being huge and juicy, often called the sweet kings of the summer. These berries are more than delightful and truly must to eat if you are in the country during the season which is March to December. To maintain top quality, berries are harvested at least every other day. The soil taste information and plant analysis results are used to determine fertility practices. Harvesting and cleaning process has not changed substantially over time. The delicate strawberries are still harvested by hand. As you know, strawberries are popular and rewarding plants to grow in the domestic environment, be it for consumption or exhibition purposes, almost anywhere in the world. The best time to plant in, is in late summer or spring. Strawberries are tough and will survive many conditions. These uh, strawberries glass house are open for public for one day and I am one of them who are here as you can see a lot of people here with children the strawberries can also be grown indoors in strawberry pots although the plant may not naturally grow indoors in the winter use of lead lighting in combination of blue and red light can allow the plant to grow during the winter time. The plants can also develop disease from temperature extremes during winter. When watering strawberries, advice has been given to water only the roots and not the leaves as moisture on the leaves encourages growth of fungus. When propagating strawberries, one should avoid using the same soil or containers that were previously used for strawberry cultivation. After cultivating strawberries, rotating to another culture is advisable because diseases that attack one species might not attack another. As we know, strawberries is widely appreciated for its characteristic aroma. Bright red color, juicy texture, and sweetness. It is consumed in large quantities, either fresh or in such prepared foods as preserves, juice, pies, ice creams, milkshake, and chocolates. Artificial strawberry flavorings and aromas are also widely used in many products like lip gloss, candy, hand san sanitizers, perfume, and many others. Strawberries are often grown according to their flowering habit. Traditionally, this has consisted of a division between June-bearing strawberries, which bear their fruit in the early summer, and ever-bearing strawberries, which often bear several crops of fruit throughout the season. One plant throughout the season may produce 50 to 60 times, or roughly once every three days. Strawberries need to remain on the plant to fully ripen because 
they do not continue to ripen after being picked. Rooted and overripe berries are removed to minimize insect and disease problems. The berries do not get washed until just before consumption. In order to provide more organic matter, a cover crop of wheat or rye is planted in the winter before planting the strawberries. As we can see, it is a huge area and people are only walking in the walking area. They are not allowed to, be, to get in and to pick uh, the strawberries but these little children is going there the quality and innovation are the driving forces of the dutch greenhouse construction companies globally 90 percent of all glass greenhouses are of dutch origin in a constant interplay between the greenhouse construction companies installation companies and their customers the state of technology of the dutch horticulture arrived at the current high level the state of the art dutch greenhouses are the perfect basis for a healthy profitable business the netherlands is traditionally strong in developing plant production systems from a historical perspective, all crops are started off in open fields. In the Netherlands, many crops are then placed into greenhouses or glass houses, soon afterwards in order to ensure efficient production with a high yield per square meter. In view of the technological possibilities, the greenhouse or glass house equipment, example heating, computer controlled climate systems, water management, energy and carbon dioxide consumption, logistic automation has advanced tremendously. We use the term integrated growing systems in conjunction with the greenhouse or glass house itself. All these components have been developed into a single efficient network in which a healthy and fresh product is cultivated in a sustainable manner in the most optimal conditions possible. Dutch strawberries wonderfully refreshing and incredibly healthy. Clean with a little sugar and a sandwich or meat into chocolate. They are cultivated in regular soil but they can be grown in pots and in glass and plastic greenhouses or glass houses. As a result, today Dutch grow them practically throughout the year from early March to the end of December. By heating in winter and cooling in summer, and some growers try to stretch the season even farther. Real strawberry season, meaning grown in the open air, starts every year around June. The strawberry plants take about six to eight weeks to open up another harvest. Picking strawberries is a delicate job because the fragile fruit is easily bruised. But then you get to enjoy truly sweet kings of summer. healthy greenhouse or glasshouse climate is essential for a healthy strawberries. The greenhouse or glasshouse climate has a very strong influence on the condition of the strawberries. Air temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide concentration and growing lights have to be in the right proportion. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment god bless us all